get your reaction to a, a major story in the area this week about these labs discovered in Wheatley and the connection to China. Uh, does that concern you? And have you been talking to the likes of the governor's office and the attorney general's office to see what kind of investigation is going on? This is very disturbing. I, I met with a number of leaders here from county um, to city and others about this. What can be real concerning is what was going on in that lab, what was not being reported in that lab. The funding of that lab is, um, I know the FBI is involved now as well. One of the first things I did becoming speaker was to create a select committee on China. Um, I want to make sure it's bipartisan. I think one of the biggest things that we have failed at through the years is we have not spoken with one voice. When you look at what's going on in our own soil, what's going on in our own background here, here is a lab that is studying, uh, doing things that they did not have jurisdiction or policy or rights to. Um, but if it wasn't for um, code enforcement or a fire, we would have never known about it. They were selling test kits that weren't right. They were doing research that wasn't allowed. Um, my concern is to get to the bottom of what happened here, but also look as where is this happening in other parts of this country as well. And I'm going to take this back to the Select Committee on China uh, in dealing with it as well and working with the FBI. Are you aware of these labs popping up? Are they a problem? Are you aware of other labs like this? There's more than just this, and it's more than just labs from what China has been doing in America. Uh, on our college campuses, on the spying, on the stealing of our technology. We've watched just, um, we've watched uh, spies build relationships with members of Congress. With Swalwell, we've watched Chinese, the um, driver for a decade for Feinstein was a Chinese spy as well. As well. But to, to have a lab in this neighborhood, to be studying, we, we all know where COVID came from and the other damage could be done with the um, modification of mice in there, why were they doing that, um, the code specs of how they were studying these different um, diseases that could be transmitted out into the area were very concerning, but going beyond what the scope they're allowed to. Now we're finding out that uh, the governor of California provided them with $360,000 in this process too and wanting to move. So there's a lot of more questions that need to be answered and I'm going to um, follow up with the FBI to make sure we can find not only what happened here but if it's happening anywhere Mr. else. Mr. Speaker, what is your level of concern when it, when it comes to maybe uh, there's rumors that it could be Chinese nationalists, there's also rumors that they're, they're infiltrating the Central Valley as being part of this district now. What will you do personally to get to the bottom of this? this? This is a great question. This is something I've been worried about for quite some time, not just for the Central Valley, but for America itself. I've watched what the Chinese have done um, just throughout the years. That's why I created the Select Committee on China. And I, I went to Hakeem Jeffries, the Democratic leader before I was even Speaker, telling him what I wanted to do. I, I tried to create this under Speaker Pelosi, and I got the entire idea of why to do this with walking the grave sites of Normandy on the 75th anniversary. Because I thought as a policymaker, what could people in my position have done that that day never would have taken place? And it's not a week or month before it comes to a situation as that. It's the decades before. And I've watched the avenues of China come in and steal our technology, not just when you think militarily, but our advancements when it comes to agriculture, um, going on to our college campuses, um, into many of our businesses at the same time. And when I tried to work with, at then, Speaker Pelosi to get it done, it took me eight months, and she finally said yes, but we brought the Washington Post in to interview the members. The night before we were going to announce it, she stopped it and said no. So now was an opportunity to do something different. If you watch how we built the Select Committee on China, I selected members from all different committees, from ENC, from agriculture, from ways and means. Why? Because this is exactly what the Chinese are doing. They can make America vulnerable from getting into our pipelines, getting into what are they purchasing, would it be uh, our food supply. Um, it's a great concern to me. And now we're finding just another evidence of it when it becomes to a lab. We don't have all the answers of what was happening in this lab. Could they have created something? We've watched the damage that COVID had done to the world. One of the first things I did within um, becoming Speaker 2 is create the select committee about COVID so we get the answers. 
Why did China shut down domestic flights but allow international flights to go with Wuhan? Why did they go after the WHO to say it didn't come from China? Why did we find now that even the American government had funded some of this research? Was some of this research, is some of this research being done here in America? Um, these are all questions that need to be answered. So between those two committees personally is where we're going to look at this, but also work with the FBI on a personal level to make sure the valley, that this isn't happening again. But gather the information and the knowledge we get here to see, because the one thing I have found that China does is they never do something one time. They duplicate it across the country. And those are the things we'll be looking at. Mr.